Also, I sprained my ankle. Eating video, let me know down below. Our blue frog. Unfortunately, the way that that frog became blue is very inhumane. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. I know it's really weird seeing someone film a fish video and they're wearing a winter jacket because like every other person who films fish videos are in the south but i'm not in the south i don't know just a random thought that i had but today we're gonna go ahead and i'm outside of imperial aquatics i'm gonna run inside and pick up the frog that i actually bought when i filmed the fish unboxing so let's just go ahead go in there get it quick disclaimer though i didn't know how much about the dying injection process when i purchased it and i didn't realize until after i paid for it went home and started to do some research on like that specific type of frog because it's Let me just go get the frog, show you a little bit. If they have anything new, I'll show you guys that. And then we'll go to the fish room. Also, there's gonna be a part two to this video because of this. So let's just go inside, get the frog, go to the fish room and enjoy. Also, I sprained my ankle, so I have a slipper on and my air cast and then this shoe. So I kind of look funny, but um, that's what happened. I've never owned this type of frog. I've had African dwarf frogs and some other frogs, but not this one. So I'm excited to own it. Okay, you see these little guys right here? These dwarf puffer fish, I think I'm gonna get one. Comment down below if you guys think I should get one because I definitely want one. Also comment down below if you guys want me to do like a feeding video for like the monster fish and everything. I mean, I could feed like everything, but if you guys want a feeding video, let me know down below as well because I would definitely be down to do that. But let's get the frog. So this is him right here. I already have a name for him because he's green, like greenish blue. All right, so the frog is in here. I also got some stuff for another video because you gotta bang out as many videos as possible. So uh, stay tuned for that video because it has to do with one of my bettas and we'll have to see how it goes. So I'm excited to get these guys home, acclimate them and get them in their tanks. All right, so back at the fish room now and let me go ahead and take them out. This little guy right here, our blue frog, is uh, ready to go into his tank. So for all of you wondering about the axolotl, Chubbs sadly did pass away and again i don't want to talk about it because it's just it's really sad and there's just a certain kind of like bond you get with fish that well axolotls aren't fish but you know what i'm saying like any type of animal that like you feed every day and you watch them and you watch them swim around and see them every day it's just you grow a bond with them and especially because they were a rescue i just kind of like really sad and i'm not gonna be able to get an axolotl for a very long time if ever because he was a great little axolotl and I don't know what happened. He was going to the bathroom fine. He was eating fine. Everything was fine. The tank was perfect temperature. Perfect, perfect, perfect temperature. Rest in peace, Chubbs and Nubs. That was a rescue mission that I took a chance with. And unfortunately, they both did pass away. We do have the open 29 gallon tank now. And this little guy right here will be going into the 29 gallon. And on top of that, he's actually going to be getting his own tank. So I'm putting him in the 29 gallon for now. But... I have an empty 10 gallon and I want to give him his own 10 gallon because he is going to get bigger. This is an African clawed frog. You guys will learn more about these in particular and why it's blue and everything in the part two. It's really sad. It's really unfortunate. I didn't realize it when I purchased it. I just wanted to make a second video, a part two video, actually going into depth on how they make these guys blue and why it's so dangerous and everything. So I did purchase one. I just feel, feel really bad for him. So. I'm gonna give him the best life possible and I'm gonna go ahead and use him as an education tool to inform you guys and everyone else just about why it is so bad to purchase these frogs and why it is so bad for them to be dyed and just everything because there's so much history on these frogs that I didn't know until I looked them up the other day. I knew about African clawed frogs, but not these tutti fruity frogs in particular. It's actually really amazing. So I always recommend that you do research before you purchase an animal. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and acclimate him into the tank. All right, so first to acclimate him, I'm gonna go ahead and I kind of was gonna do a drip acclimation first, but I just wanna take probably about 10 minutes to just float him first. And I'm gonna shut the light off shut the light off and I'm gonna go ahead and let him sit like that for about 10 minutes just to kind of get used to the temperature first then I'll do a quick drip acclimation because there's only so much there's only a little bit of water in the bag so basically that means that the drip acclimation isn't gonna take that long so I want to go ahead let him sit in there for about 10 minutes then I'll do the drip acclimation just to double the water that is already in the bag then he'll be set a few moments later <laughs> Oh, all right, I just gotta quickly tie this. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this. As you guys can see right there, there is a slow drip acclimation process going on right now. And I'm just gonna hold it like this. And like I said, once the water just about doubles, then I'm gonna go ahead and put them in, but I have to hold it because like I said, I don't have a long enough air tube. So this is just what I'm gonna have to do for like 10 minutes. So uh, I guess you can roll the time lapse. <laughs> All right, so 
he's now fully acclimated. As you can see, I did a little bit more than double the water just because I want to make sure he's fully acclimated. Like I said, his skin is sensitive. There might be a few ounces of this water that go in the tank, but it's a 29 gallon tank that would never affect it. He could jump and if he jumps, then I don't want to lose him. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and let's get him into the tank. All right, there's just a tiny bit of water left. Go ahead and open it all the way. And... There he goes, our blue frog. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the light off because I don't want to stress him out. Also, I just realized that the coldest water right here, the water bottle, uh, shout out to them. I'm sponsored by them. Really good bo water bottle, by the way. You should go you could check it out. Uh, link will be down below. But I just realized that it actually matches a flubber. And I think that's so cool. Like, I'm probably gonna put the water bottle, like, near the tank. Well, I use it, so I guess, like, can't exactly do that. But maybe at some point I'll put it on display, like, near the tank. Because it's literally the same color. Do you guys see that? That is literally the same color as flubber. I love it. That's so cool. Like I said, there is going to be a part two because unfortunately the way that that frog became blue is very inhumane. I knew how to take care of them and I knew, you know, water parameters and all that type of stuff, but I didn't actually know like the history of those type of frogs, the African clawed frog. So it is an African clawed frog, but it is dyed blue. Like I said, there is going to be a part two of this video and in that video, I'm going to go in depth of why injecting animals with dye is extremely bad. The history of the animal, like just, just a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be really good, a really good, well put together video. So I highly suggest that you watch it when it comes out. He stirred up a bunch of stuff from the bottom, but that little guy right there, I actually already came up with a name for him. So in the store, he kind of looked like a greenish blue. He looked a little bit more green than blue, but now like in this tank, he looks blue. The name I came up with for him is Flubber. So if you guys have ever seen the movie Flubber, it's like the green goop. So he kind of looked like that, like at the store and stuff when he was more green, he kind of looked like that. So his name is Flubber, Flubber the Frog. That is our brand new exotic frog right there, just chilling, freshly into his tank. And I'm really excited to put together his own like 10 gallon when I do that. That is our new frog, but I'm going to go ahead real quick and just do a quick little update on some stuff that's going on in this room because there's a lot of stuff going on and it's even confusing for me. But I want to give you guys an update. So right here, of course, we have Albert and he's doing wonderful. I just filled up his tank today. There's Albert right there doing fine, eating as usual and giving me attitude and everything else because these fish have a lot of personality. I do need to clean up his sand a little bit on this side because this piece of driftwood does kind of fall apart and stuff. Now this tank right here, I pretty much never show on camera, but this tank right here is my very first 10 gallon. And this tank, I'm actually going to be converting. I'm actually gonna be, you know, completely taking it apart because none of the stuff that's in here is good completely take everything apart and I'm gonna put something in this 10 gallon. I think I want to put the frog, I think I want to put Flubber next to Albert. What do you guys think? I think that'd be pretty cool because Albert is like kind of like a bluish color. That'd be cool to have like a bluish greenish frog next to him. Now Lila's tank does have quite a bit of allergy on it because it was next to a window and the way that it was facing I couldn't really see that side of the tank and even though I had the the blinds closed and curtains and stuff, I guess algae still grew from the, from the light that did get in. Um, but there wasn't really much, so I don't know why there was so much algae that grew on the glass. But I do have to clean that tank out, so I don't really want to show it just because it kind of looks a little gross and stuff. But she's fine, she's doing well, um, still eating, still swimming around, all that type of stuff. Um, she's really happy and healthy, which is also a good thing. Also, the hermit crabs are here. I'm currently in the process right now of filming the update video on them. And also I have a huge tank in the car because they're gonna be getting a huge tank home upgrade for a bunch of reasons. But stay tuned for that video or check it out. I'll link it up above if I already posted it. If you guys saw the video where I did like the how to set up a beta tank, well, what happened was is all the plants were in here and everything. I didn't get to finish it that day. I was gonna come back the next day, the next morning. And well, some stuff happened and I wasn't able to get here. And all the plants died. So I did pick up some new plants today, but I'm leaving them in the tubes until I completely finish the tank. And then this guy right here, Mufasa, is doing really, really well. He's really healthy, getting a lot more active and becoming more friendly. But I gotta stop filming right there because I actually 
purchase something for his tank, um, some little tank friends. But this right here is actually kind of taking off now and it's starting to grow a lot more and kind of grow all over things, which is really good. Yeah, that's kind of just like the update on everything. Let's go ahead and check and see what the frog is up to now. Well, I did see him under there, but now he's back over here and just kind of looking at me. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. That is our brand new exotic frog that unfortunately was abused and that is why it is now that color. Comment down below what you guys think of the new frog. Like I said, it's just, it's really sad and I feel really bad about it, but I do love his name. He's really cute. And like I said, I can't wait to just like take care of him, make him nice and big and strong, healthy little flubber. That is it for this video guys. Make sure you guys comment down below, hit that subscribe button, that like button for me, and I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye.